I, I would say music making has a lot to do with um, creating associations that you know in your mind suddenly it opens up a whole new world and you are just starting to wonder what this could be but it's fresh and new. And the connection between memory and something that is created new is a wonderful thing. So if you can reach that, um, that is very helpful. And so synthesizers are in a way the instruments that help me to uh, you know, get into a different space. My name is Volker Bertelmann, uh, aka Hauschka. I'm uh, from Düsseldorf, Germany. I'm mainly working with prepared piano. If I don't have anything already planned for the whole day, I'm, I'm sometimes intuitively switching on the computer, I'm setting everything up in record, and I'm starting from scratch, like I did today, for example. And that is a, was in a way you filmed in a way exactly a process that I would do when I'm by myself. From the sound quality, I would say it's a very outstanding mixture of oscillators and filter. It knows exactly where it sits in a way. The sounds are really like a lot of analog synths. You, have, you want actually the mud and the, you know, the, the grunge and all that. It has that as well, but it is much more precise. It's very hard to actually time both hands and uh, having the effect and so having aftertouch and polyphonic aftertouch and control for example the LFO speed and uh, you know it, this is awesome because you can actually you know you press and it's getting faster and faster and then it's going down. I actually uh, spoke to Danny um, recently and I said man the, the reverb that sounds so awesome and uh, wh where is that like why why is that and he said yeah it's because it's on this chip that has this high resolution and you totally sense that I mean it's uh, you could here in the track that we recorded you can hear the, the bass drum that you know does like the and then you hear like this steady one of the main strengths of uh, peak is actually the whole modulation section in a way I, I always was wondering how much of wor of a work it is to actually once the LFO is there why why don't you use it for all sorts of steps in the sound creating process so that you can actually say oh I want to have the LFO not here I want to have it like right after the, the oscillator signal in a way. And I think that's wonderful and that makes it so much diverse um, that, you, that you can actually create different chains of signal. The animation button is great because you, you, you can use parameters without a keyboard if you want to. some gear that you buy and you just need like whatever a year to just get them into your DNA and uh, so I'm, I'm very happy that this piece is you know 
getting into my DNA like so fast. So we, we're on a good journey.